Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Sai Process. Today in this video we'll be talking about the payment methods as well as the payment terminals of the Odoo 17 POS model. So you know what POS is? It's point of sale. Obviously payment is an inevitable part of the point of sale. So while doing the payment, that is if you are buying a product and you are doing a payment, you will be having different methods for doing the payment, right? So you will be having to use bank transfer as cash or by card or any such methods you will be doing the payment. Similarly, in POS also, we have various payment methods. So, we'll take a look at that as well as we have this payment terminal inside the point of sale. So, let's move on to the module and see how to handle payment methods as well as payment terminal. Guys, let me show you how to use the payment methods as well as the payment terminals inside the POS. So, first of all, let's open the point of sale. This is the point of sale. And you have two sessions which are there, which is shop and restaurant. So from the configuration, you have the thing which is called payment methods. And there you can find all the payment methods which are created in the system. So you can see the point of sale, the company and journal as well as the name of the method. So I'm going to create a new one. So let the name of the new one be new cash. And you can decide whether it's an online payment or not. So this is to make it i mean make use of this while doing an online payment so this is to identify the customer that is this forces to set a customer while using the payment method and then i'm choosing the journal as bank and here you have the outstanding receipts i'm choosing the outstanding receipts as the outstanding account and then you you have the integration so you can integrate it with any of the payment terminals so we'll go to that before that i'm going to save it okay so once the saving is done, go to the configuration settings. Okay, so here we have the configuration settings and here you can see the payment methods. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to make sure that, you know, the payment method has been added over here. Okay, so let it be restaurant. And under the restaurant, I'm adding my payment of, I mean, my payment method. Okay, so... let's go back to the dashboard so this is under open control opening control okay just i'm opening the register and i'll show you the payment methods so once you're opening it you have to provide the opening cash and then open the session okay the session opening is done now you have to choose a product and then add a customer so i'm adding a customer and moving on to the payment so here you have the different payment methods which are available. Okay, you have cash, bank and customer account. So if you choose cash means you can see the payment method you've chosen and then validate it. And then the payment is done. So from here, you can directly go to a new order and create the order from there. Okay, so I'm just closing the register from here. You can add the counter amount and then close the register. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now, if you go to the configuration settings, let's see how to do that. So, for that, okay, so this is the shop. Okay, I've currently closed that session, and here under the new session, I'm adding the payment method which I've created, which is new cash. Okay, and I'm saving it. Okay, so after saving it, uh, let's do one thing let's create a new, I mean, let's open a new session for the shop so i'm just opening the register so it's a fresh opening which means you have to provide the opening cash so i'm just putting the opening cash as thousand and opening the session so add the product here add the customer so i'm adding the customer and move on to the payment and here comes the payment method which we have added which is a new cash click on that and then you can simply validate the payment so that's how your payment terminal has been added and that's how you use it okay so that's done and then you can close the register so i'm adding the counted quantity as 200 and then closing the register okay so that's how a payment method is created and added to a point of sale okay so if you go to this configuration settings again you have a thing called the payment terminals okay that is to integrate with the different payment terminals so here we have the payment terminals 
Okay, so you have things like the Adi Inventive, Viva Wallet, Razor Pay, Paytm, Six and Stripe. So I'll just, if you just enable Paytm means it will accept payments with the Paytm payment, payment terminal. Okay, the transactions are processed by Paytm. Set your Paytm credentials or the related payment method. Okay, so the payment will be done through this particular terminal. So for the time being, I'll just enable Vantive. Okay, and save it. Okay, so Vantive is enabled and I am saving it. So what you can do is you can go inside the payment method which you've created and then you can do certain corrections over there. Not corrections, some slight editing. Okay, so as you can see, the payment terminal which I've enabled was Vantive. As soon as I've enabled this, you can see the Vantive accounts as well as buy a card reader. So this is basically to, you know, do the payments using the cards and all. So I'm going to the Vantive account and this is the Vantive demo account which we have. Okay. So let's do one thing, go to configuration and there you have the payment methods. So I'm going to do the edits on the payment method which I've created. So here you have new cash and here under the integration, I'm choosing a terminal integration and integrate with which terminal, which is Vantive. I've already created it and the Vantive credential is also there, which is Vantive demo. Save that and then let's try to use this payment method in the shop. So I'm opening the register. Okay, so the session is open, the opening cache is set and then open it. Then you have to choose the product. So I'm choosing two, three products here. Okay, and then you have to choose the customer because we've made it as forced to choose a customer, right? And then move on to the payment. Here you have new cash. Okay, so as you can see, new cash is the one which you've created. Okay, so this is... um. I mean, the payment method we have chosen and then you can move on to validate the payment. And here comes the, you know, the bill. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Now, if you just close this and go back. Okay, I'm just closing the register before that you have to add the counted cash. And then once it's done, close the register and then go back to the configuration settings. So there under the settings, you have different things, right? So I'll just do one thing. Let's enable all of these. Or simply ADN is enough, right? You can enable all of these and just make changes in H and C. So that's how you do it. And I'm saving it. Okay, the saving is done. So I'll create one more payment method. Okay, so let's wait for it to get saved. That's done. Now go to configuration. Here you have the payment methods. I'm going to create a new one, which is called online. Okay, so this is for online payment. Okay, so as you can see, for online payment, you have to enable a payment provider. So I'm going to enable one, which is the uh, Stripe or demo. Anything can be chosen. So I'll just install this demo or the stripe can be activated from there okay so demo has been installed okay once installed you can see it's published and it's in test mode now if you open the stripe you can see it's disabled you can put it to test mode and use it okay so because this is a payment terminal which we have created so this needs this publishable key as well as the secret key so i'm just Discarding all the changes and going back to the payment provider. For the time being, we have this payment provider, which is Dem. Now, I'll just go back to online, which is the payment method I've created. And from here, you can choose the payment provider. I'm choosing Demo and save it. What next? You have to go to configuration settings and you have to add this to the payment method. So here, I'm going to add online. Save it. Okay. So online is added and saved. And one more thing, go to payment methods and let's open the new cache which we've created. From here, I'm changing it to Edian and the API key and all is required. So I'll just give some random keys. I don't have a proper one right now. And then you have to specify the Edian terminal identifier as well as make sure that is enabled to Edian test mode. Okay, once it's done, save it. Now let's go to the dashboard. Okay.
okay and then open the register okay so the opening cache is given open the session so i'm adding two three products here okay then choose a customer let the customer be chester we want the payment and here you can see the payment methods which we've created which is new cash as well as online so click on online and then scroll down so you can see the payment method you've added is online validate it so here comes the qr code so you can scan this to pay this okay so that's the online payment and then you have the new cash okay so i'm just removing this and adding new cash so you can see a payment request is pending. So in case of this add-in, a payment request is sent to the person. So click on send and this shows waiting for card. So this will be sent to the customer. And once the customer pay with the card, the payment will be completed. So that's how add-in works. So this is how basically you add a payment method and how you connect the payment method with a terminal. Okay, that is you can integrate it with a terminal and that's how you basically use it. And it's very simple to move on with. So that's how you basically deal on with the payment method. I hope it's clear. That's it. So that's how you can easily manage the payment method and payment terminals in POS of Odo 17. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.